This content was taken from our groundbreaking heat pump and system design training. Engineers that take this course and pass our rigorous verification process are arguably the best engineers in the country and capable of designing and installing the most efficient heat pump systems possible. And they can be found at heatgeek.com. Traditionally, monoblock air source heat pump systems are filled with a mix of water and antifreeze called glycol. Although rare in non-rural conditions, this protects against the risk of freezing the outdoor unit should the power be cut during or below zero degrees conditions. All heat pumps understand the outside temperature, so simply turn on if powered during these conditions. They will especially still be on if they use weather compensation, which they all absolutely should be. The addition of glycol can add complications to the installation and reduce efficiency for three main reasons. Adding glycol to the system decreases its specific heat capacity. Reduced specific heat capacity means we're going to need even larger pipe work if the system is to be optimal with maximized flow rates. If suitably larger pipes are not used, the system efficiency or SCOP will drop. Water and glycol can also have trouble mixing within the heating system's pipe work if poured separately. Special pumping rigs are required to mix the solution before putting it in the system. And finally, maintenance of the heating system can also be troublesome. Draining down systems with glycol in requires the maintenance engineer to contain the fluid as it can't simply be poured down the drain. Any later disposal of the fluid must be managed according to regulation. Due to this, we suggest the use of antifreeze valves instead of glycol, provided the heat pumps manufacturer's instructions allow it. These manage the risk of freezing to the outdoor unit by releasing the system water if the system pipework drops below zero degrees, which it shouldn't do with weather compensation. Installing these means we can fill the heating system with normal processes and they can be filled or drained correctly by anyone needing to do maintenance at all. This full course can be found at courses.heatgeek.com and don't forget to comment with any questions you might have as well, of course, please subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.